G'day, I'm Nigel from Ozzytune and in the shop today in for repair is a Volkswagen Golf in for an oil leak repair. So uh, I've pulled the, put it up on the lift, pulled the bottom cover off and it's clearly leaking. So let's go and have a look. And uh, as I pulled the cover off, I've seen something that I don't think I've seen before. So we're looking at the bottom of the engine. You can see someone has put a spark plug in instead of the sump plug. And just sitting there, uh, you can see it's dripping away. Uh, so looking at the cover down there, covered in oil, so it's been leaking for quite some time. Um, so today I'm gonna show you how we go about repairing that. And uh, um, yeah. I guess the first thing, oh wow. Have a look at how loose that is. That's not holding on by the thread, that's holding on by the, uh, the silicon or the glue someone's put on there. That is a hack job. Oh, we better get the right spanner. Why would someone do this? Probably for a couple of reasons. Maybe they were out of time, didn't have time to repair it. Maybe customer didn't want to fix it. Uh, maybe they were just a hack and thought, uh, wow, look at the plug. Most of the threads on the sump are now in the, uh, on that spark plug. So we're going to drain the oil, we'll let it drain as much as we can, we'll clean the silicon off and, uh, and we'll repair the thread and we'll put a proper sun plug in. So the way that we're going to, uh, or the way that I'm going to fix this golf properly is by putting a, uh, a helicoil into the sump so we can use the original uh, style sun plug which looks a lot like that and if you haven't seen a helicoil before, it looks like that. So it's basically a little coil of high tension spring wire uh, that's been flattened out so you can actually screw the plug, once you've selected the right size, into the, um, into the coil of wire. And so we have to uh, fit that coil of wire, or the helicoil as they call it, into the sump. And so I won't show you on camera because it's probably quite hard to see, but we actually have to drill the sump out a little bit larger, so the hole bigger, and cut a new thread in with a, a thread cutter, or what's commonly known as a tap. So we'll, we've got our drill bit here, larger size, we'll drill the hole out, and um, then we'll uh, do the tapping, and we should be on the way to being finished. Hmm, that's a problem. Drill bit is a little bit too long. I can't get the drill in square. That's a bit annoying. So I've just removed the engine support rod so I can get my drill in there. I think my drill bit's too sharp, but... Alright, we've drilled our hole. To a larger size. Now we want to use our tap. You can see it has some uh, thread on there. That'll, well, <laughs> it will cut a new thread and then we'll be able to put that spring or that helicoil in. So you see I can, uh, I've covered the tap in some petroleum jelly. And the reason I do that is it means that it's going to catch the little bits of uh, 
metal that's going to become displaced during this. It's just a case of winding this in and it's cutting the new thread. I was always taught that halfway in you should go backwards half a turn but I actually don't remember why that is. So if you know why that is, if that's a thing, I'd love to know. I think it's to free up the, uh, the tap or the cutting tool of metal, but like I said, I honestly don't know. Must be getting close to the length of that helicoil. So then we can uh, wind it out. If you follow manufacturers' recommendations and do these up in the way that they're supposed to be, this sort of stuff generally doesn't happen. annoying I've lost the light there's a little bit of metal all over the, uh, the little tap there and that's where it's removed metal while it's cutting that through so I'll we'll clean that out with a bit of solvent can see a little bit of metal in there so I'm gonna grab a screwdriver with some Hopefully we can pick it all up. Ooh, that's quite a bit of metal. That would be rather unpleasant in the engine. Let's get some more. I think because it didn't stick to the tap properly because our engine's still a little bit warm and it's melting. The petroleum jelly. Perhaps that was a mistake doing it when it was warm. I can't see any more, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a litre of oil in there and let that run out so that we can uh, remove all that because that would be rather detrimental to uh, the engine, those little metal pieces. Even though the filter would probably catch it, let's not go with probably. All right, we flushed it with some oil. So you can see on the end of the, well, maybe you can, on the end of the helicoil it has a little line or a little coil. This slots into there and allows us to turn it in. So it's just a matter of lining it up. And then And we just screw that coil in. And you just want to screw it in until it's flush with, or even in a little bit more, it doesn't really matter. And that's it. But I do have to break off that little uh, bent over bit that um, allowed us to screw in. It's a little piece of hardened steel and should it break off? And Murphy's Law says it will break off. Again, that's going to do some pretty ugly damage to the engine. And we just use this here, which is basically a magnetic rod. I'll give that a little... tap. And out comes the little bit. Or in this case, not. Man, that's annoying. I 
It is Friday, of course, so why wouldn't it, uh, why would it come out? Damn, that's annoying. Wonder if my little magnet will get it. Of course it doesn't fit. Let's go and find another one. All right. Got it. Beautiful. Can you imagine the damage that would do if I uh If I left that inside, that would make quite a mess. Now it's just a matter of screw a plug in. Should you use a torque wrench? Yep, you probably should. But I've been doing it for a while and I feel like I've got the feel and I haven't stripped a sump plug in at least 15 years. So I'm happy with that. That's a repair. Um, and uh, the next person, if it's not me, will be able to change your oil without having to uh, do some sort of bodgy repair like what we've seen. So I've just got to put the uh, torque rod back in, fill it back up with oil, wash the cover and it's job done.